Well, first of all, with this book, it was actually my intention to only write from one character's perspective. So I was Francis. only from Francis's perspective. Because I know um, some readers get cranky with me for having too many characters, and I've seen they have to do little cheat sheets with all the characters. So I was determined. I thought, this time I'm going to stay in Francis's head. Um, but then, as I was writing her, I thought, oh, I'd just go out just, just into one other. So I thought I'd go into the resort director's head, yeah, to, into Marsha's head. And then I wanted just one more, and then before I knew it, was too late. Uh, I had 13 perspectives, and uh, they're going to be cross with me. Yeah. Um, and I always think it goes back to her. I can so clearly remember when I was a little girl reading one of those big, English sagas, you know, those huge books. Um, and I can always remember reading one huge section from one character's perspective. And then I wasn't, I wasn't ready for it, so this character goes and knocks on the door and then you turn the page and suddenly you're in the perspective of the character on the other side of the door. And uh, I got such a sensation of movement as if I would shoom into that other character's head. So I just, I love, um, and I love being able to describe one character from the other character's point of view and seeing all the misconceptions and that sort of thing. So I'll try again with the next one. To, to <laughs>